healthy eating doesn't have to be boring. The chef is going to show you a great recipe to try. Plus, don't feel like cooking. Stay tuned. We are giving away dinner for two at District American Kitchen and Wine Bar. Less than 10 minutes. Don't go away. Oh, we're back in the kitchen now with another healthy recipe for the new year. Chef Johnny is back from District American Kitchen and Wine Bar here to show us a really great healthy recipe. You just put some garlic and onions in there and it smells so good. Yes, ma'am. Little garlic, some onion, and some peppery bean. Just in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to add a little bit of quinoa, which is huge these days, extremely healthy. Why is quinoa, you know, such a go-to? I think just because of the health benefits and the fact that it's it's hearty, it's it's satisfying. It can fill you up, and it has a lot of protein in it. Absolutely, protein and uh, and fiber as well. I mean, it's it's good for you all around. And this dish that we're preparing right now is completely vegan, uh, gluten free for all for oh, all of great. Uh, those. And actually, and right, you just threw in some oil, or what did you just? Oh, uh, that was in? a little bit of white wine. Okay. So we're just going to mix this around a little bit. I had some greens braising for a little while. That's mm -hmm. a mixture of beet greens and kale. Which kale, can... again, a go-to. Yes, ma'am. Everyone loves the kale nowadays, myself included, so. Why is it so popular? That. I think uh, similar to the, to the quinoa with the health benefits. It's high in fiber, it's very hearty, it fills you up easy, and you can, you can make a meal out of it. There's so many different things you can do with different seasonings, oils, wines, whatever it is. There's just, there's just so much you can do with kale. And, and the beet greens are just one of the things from our garden. So this dish, we always try to incorporate some of the greens that we're, that we're using in our garden. Yeah, because fresh ingredients are key. And you were talking about the roof cup top garden and how anybody can do it at home. This is a look at yours, but you know, a lot of people think in Arizona I can't do something like this. No, you absolutely can. There's there's plenty of things that grow well in Arizona. Uh, these tepary beans actually are, are native to Arizona, but uh, hearty, hearty vegetables like kale, any, any type of chicory, like uh, endive per se, more of the, the hardy things grow really well in Arizona. All right, so wrapping um, up here. Mm -hmm. So what I have here is just a little salad. We're gonna put on top, kind of adds a different texture to the dish, a little bit of crispness. We're gonna put a little bit of white balsamic vinegar in there, and then we are going to go to the finished product here. I'll okay, so this is, you put the, did you put the quinoa on the bottom? Yes, ma'am, the quinoa goes on the bottom, and then we have the braised greens and beans in the middle, the little bit of uh, micro salad with some micro pea shoots, some frise, shaved fennel, and some micro ruby radish on top. And then we're gonna finish that with just a little bit of lemon zest, just right. like this. And you on top spoke for a little of this freshness dish being factor. Gluten free, and that's becoming more and more important these days, isn't it? Absolutely, and actually, right now at District American Kitchen and Wine Bar, seventy percent of our dinner menu is gluten free. Really? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. 70%. So you, it's important. And the thing is, a lot of people wouldn't even notice, but right. the people that really need it to be gluten free definitely do. Yeah, and that's the trend nowadays. We get that constantly. I know when I first started started cooking, every once in a while someone would ask, and now it's constant. You, you have to have that, yeah. Yeah, terrific. Well, there you go. Just one of the gluten-free dishes that they have on the menu. Um, what's coming up at District? Uh, we always have our happy hour from 3 to 7. We also have Valentine's Day right around the corner, which we will have a wonderful lover's dinner for, uh, for everyone to come enjoy and much more in the summer. We'll have a new spring menu coming out around April. Uh, also a new bar menu, probably uh, end of February. So yeah, we, got a, guys, we got a lot going on. You always change it up. And for more information, everyone, go to districtrestaurant.com. You can learn a lot more there. And if you would like to try District American Kitchen and Wine Bar on us, well, you know what? Call now. We're giving away a certificate for dinner for two. All you have to do to win is dial 602-260-1000. Caller 12 will get the prize. Good luck, everyone.